Hey, it's me, MLB. Here is chapter 64 of Rapid Fate Online. I know you're hanging out for this one. It's titled End of Battle. With almost zero hesitation, Anarchy eyed you and then bit down hard on Butterfly's body, shattering it into a million shimmering crystals. The shock of seeing your man evaporate into thin air caused you to fall to your knees as an anguished cry left your lips. No! You sobbed, tears cascading down your face. No! Give him back! He is gone! Anarchy bellowed, opening his mouth to let out a hauntingly loud laugh. Now! You heard Magata scream from behind you, and from out of nowhere two grenades were thrown directly into Anarchy's open mouth. Kirito jumped back into action and struck Anarchy relentlessly while yet another unseen assailant started attacking Anarchy with what looked like the movements of a chain whip sword. You were numb. You didn't know how to feel. Your eyes watched the fight but your brain was not computing it. The fight continued and the invisible attacker wrapped his chain around Anarchy's neck and yanked it hard. At that exact moment the grenades went off inside the red dragon's belly and with a mighty roar and a great deal of glitching and shuddering the red dragon, inhabited by anarchy, exploded into crystals, defeated for good. There was dead silence in the cave for a good three seconds before sexy schoolgirl 69 screamed at the top of her lungs. We did it! She hollered excitedly, running towards Magata, who turned his head back to give her a smile. Upon seeing her making a beeline for him, he then turned his whole body and opened his arms, indicating for her to jump into them which she did, knocking him flying as her fox ran beside her. He laughed heartily as he toppled backwards with her on top of him, but his laughter was almost immediately muffled by her soft lips as they pressed against his. There was another round of dead silence from you, Kirito and Asuna, as you all tried to comprehend what had just happened between the pair. You, you kissed me, he gasped in surprise when she finally pulled back, sitting up on his torso while he lay on the ground. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, that just happened, she said sheepishly. I should probably hop off now, huh? She added with embarrassment as she went to move. Magada grabbed her waist to stop her from hopping off and sat up. Wait, he said softly. You gave me too much of that reward. Here's your change. And with that, he leaned back in and his lips met hers again. You burst into tears, partially because you were excited for her and partially because you had lost your butterfly and seeing them kiss happily was painful to watch. You looked back over to Kirito and Asuna, who were in a beautiful embrace too, and you sobbed harder, wiping the snot that was running down your face on your sleeve. Why are you crying? A voice asked from behind you, and you swung your head back to see who had spoken to you, but no one was there. You looked around wildly and wiped your eyes. Who, who's there? You asked into thin air. On? Baby, it's me, the voice replied. Butterfly? Where are you? You said, standing up. Hold on a second, Magata called to you as he finished another round of kissing with your bestie. Reveal, he yelled. You just looked at him confused. Sweetheart, you heard the voice say again. You turned back towards the voice and Butterfly was standing there with a tender smile on his face and his arms open. You... That's all you managed to get out before bursting into tears again, throwing yourself into his arms. I thought I'd lost you, you wailed into his chest as he held you against his body. I'm so sorry, On. I didn't have a chance to tell you what was going on, Butterfly said softly. What happened? I, how are you here? I thought you got crunched. Well, when Anarchy hit me with his claw, I did pass out for a bit, but when I woke up, Magata was beside me and Kirito was protecting you from Anarchy's flames. Magata quickly made a clone of me and left it lying on the ground and put a double invisibility cloak on me so that I would be invisible to everyone here. But why? you asked with a quivering bottom lip. Why would you do that to me? Couldn't you see I was freaking out? Yes, and it was breaking my heart. But if you could have seen me, you wouldn't have acted as distraught as you did, and thus Anarchy wouldn't have believed that he had killed the real me. He was watching your reaction the whole time, so it needed to look believable, Butterfly said hugging you closely. I'm so, so sorry you had to go through that, but when Magata gave me the grenades, I knew that the only chance I had to throw them inside Anarchy would be when he laughed after defeating me. 
I knew he would laugh extra loud if he saw your distress because of it, because that's just how he is. You buried your face back into his chest and sobbed some more, this time from relief. Butterfly held you and apologised over and over, promising he would never do that again. Finally, after everyone had calmed down and congratulated each other, you all went over to the massive pile of treasure and started sorting through items for you, that you all desired. Magada slyly pocketed a beautiful golden ring for someone special, and you picked up some rare metal to take back to Grid, like you had promised. Kirito and Asuna took some gold cutlery and pottery for the house, as well as some rare gems for future selling, and Butterfly found the ingot of crystalline and black diamond needed for, to reinforce the links in his chain. Your best friend just grabbed as much mahi coins as she could and shamelessly cashed herself up, singing I just got paid by Ella Ira mixed with Rihanna's bitch better have my money and the rest of the loot you decided to hide with Magata's invisibility cloak and hope that no other mage came through and revealed it before you could come back and get more. So you got your reinforcement material for your sword? You asked Butterfly as you all continued through the cave to see what level 44 looked like. Yes, I'm very excited for the upgrade. He said as he reached out and took your hand. You smiled at him as you walked together. Guys, I can see light ahead, sexy schoolgirl 69 called. She was leading the pack this time with her fox on one side and Magata on the other. The rest of you ran to catch up so you could see what the newly unlocked level looked like. Ah, uh, we knew he wouldn't die. He's too cool for that. Stay tuned for the next chapter, chapter 65, coming tomorrow.